So this was serious business. We all knew that we were playing with a serious situation and that, you know, literally our lives could be in jeopardy. And that's one of the reasons in the beginning there were only three of us. One of the proudest moments of my life and all the things that I've achieved in my life and God has blessed me to achieve many things. But one of the things I hold dearly to my heart in achievement is to be voted one of the 100 most dangerous in America by the Ku Klux Klan. Otis Higgs lost a runoff to Wyatt Chandler in 79. J. O. Patterson Jr. lost a runoff to Dick Hackett in 83. Minerva Jonathan lost the runoff to Dick Hackett in 87. I said, I'd be damned if that's going to happen again in 1991. If you will recall, Harold Ford Sr. during that particular time was the dominant political leader in the black community. In fact, Harold was one of the most powerful political figures in the state of Tennessee. Bill Atkins said, uh, Harold, you got to come out here and tell these people something. They're getting restless and they need a decision. And then Otis he spoke. I think Otis ran at least twice and he was defeated on both occasions. I said in all respect to you Otis, I said that's the very reason we cannot allow you to run. I said because if you think for one minute that white folks are going to vote for you over a white candidate and let me tell you something else, black people ain't in love with you. Harold he and Willie and Otis were up in the upper chamber and they went up there and Harold, as I understand it, basically told them that Otis is going to have to be Willie. But I got some news for you now. I was the get done girl. I was always in Teddy's ear. Okay, Teddy, come on, man. You do it. If you don't do it, nobody else is gonna do it. Ain't nobody got the courage to stand up like that. Cause Teddy was always a rebel on the outside of the system and always fighting for his people. That was Teddy. It was almost unbelievable. <laughs> it was almost unbelievable. It was a, not only a community victory, but it was a personal victory as well. A Chuck O'Bannon production presented by the Rainbow Connection and the People's Convention Coalition.